So welcome everybody, welcome to Energy Play Shop number 41. And today is March the 30th, 2023. So March, I don't know about you guys, but, but actually um, March has been a long month. It seems like it took so long. Whereas January and February just flew by. <laughs> it just whizzed by and you blink it and you missed it. Whereas March is like, is it over yet? Is it over yet? <laughs> so anyways, here we are. We, we're not quite at the, like tomorrow will be the last day, but we are closing closing down um, March. So um, the energies have been, I would say, pushing everybody to um, let go of things. So that's why the theme for tonight is really about balance. Balance, because um, everything seems to be so, feels so intense. So that's why I, I, I thought it's um, two, two great tools that I really want to go over with all of you so that you um, would remember and if it uh, resonate with you to use them for, to really um, assist yourself in getting through these um, next couple of months or even next couple of years to, to breeze through them easily. So, uh, so one of the tools I wanna to talk about is balance. The other one is really how to heal our emotional bodies because what really trip us up is really emotions if we and and i'm not saying that emotions are bad it's um emotions is really what made us human so by all means it's not bad however when our emotions kind of knock us out of the um knock us out so that we are no longer the the driver of the emotion. We are rather being kind of being taken for a ride by our emotions, then uh, our emotions get a little too out of hand. And that's that's not really a good thing. And um and if you guys love to to let your emotions run your life, then this tool is not for, for you. But if you would like to <laughs> Get, get more grip on yourself to, to really enjoy emotions but not be run by your emotions, then the, the tool is really to heal the emotional body. It's, it's just those. So those are the two tools that I'll be talking about on this uh, episode of Energy Play Show. So before we begin, though, I would like to just take a few moments to um, do a a short presence meditation before we begin. So let's all together just take a deep breath in. So breathe in through your nose. Take in as much oxygen, as much air as you can. And, and until you cannot breathe in anymore, then start to breathe out slowly. And then do that again to just breathe in deeply and slowly through your nose. And then breathe out. Breathe in again, slowly and deeply through your nose. And breathe out. And continue to breathe in and out according to your own rhythm with the intention of elongating your breath as much as it is still comfortable for you. Use your breath to guide yourself into a more relaxed and peaceful 
state of mind. The deep breathing in and the deep breathing out activates our body's um, natural response to relax. So use this, use your breath. Just taking a few more breaths, breathing in deeply and then breathing out deeply as well. Until you find yourself in a calm state. When you feel this, your body starting to be able to relax. And also your mind starting to be able to relax. Then the next thing is intentionally call back all of your attention to yourself. Call back all of your energy, all of your focus, your attention back to yourself. No need to look outside. Just pay attention to your body, to what's going on within your body. Feel everything within your body. Your body is the most important thing for you to pay attention to in this moment. Call all of your attention back to yourself. When you call back all of your attention, all of your energy to focus in on yourself, you will start to feel more solid. Your own energy will start to become more potent as well. Whatever you pay attention to, that's where your energy is going to be. And when you focus in on yourself, your energy will stay with you. It will start to build up. You start to store energy naturally for yourself, for your own use. And when you pay attention to yourself, it's easier for you to be in this moment with yourself, with your body, here and now. And when you feel that you are right here and now with yourself in this moment. Being present to everything that is going on within yourself. And come all the way back into the room.
and open your eyes if you have closed them before. So welcome back, everybody. First thing I want to actually draw attention to is the picture that's behind me now. I pick this as a visual aid. Um, it's when you actually let me share screen. Hang on. Um, okay, what is this? Is the one? Yes. So this is really the picture that I want to to show you all. This picture. Um, this. You can see that on the on the the side now there are some ripples kind of breaking up the the <clears throat> the picture. However, when if you kind of ignore this part to just look at the the concentric circles, it's kind of what we are like, or our energy and our thoughts are like when we are clear, when we know exactly what it is that we want, when we, when we have um, no interference, when we are absolutely clear what it is that we want to experience, how we want to create our reality. It's like we send out the thought of what we want to experience, and it kind of just ripples out and, and create that reality for ourselves. And you can look at the interference pattern that's on the, well, well my, what, what I look at as the right-hand side. But, so those are really misaligned thoughts kind of um, breaking down. So the reason why we want to be balanced and also to, to um, let go of the emotions that does not support us anymore is really to get to the point where we can be absolutely clear and to influence and to be able to create our experience the way we want it to. And so first thing to talk about is really balance. Um, <clears throat> so balance in a in in a very I would say effective way. First, I want to kind of introduce the idea that we each like like the whole universe is actually made up of uh, I would say um, the whole physical universe is made up of different elements. And there are, depending on which tr tradition you go after, you, or you go you go with, they are there are different elements. So I'm just using the Chinese elements. You can do it with any other elements as well. Um, I remember when when I learned from Hawaiian tradition, they have um, water, fire, earth, air, and ether. So those, those five elements. So with the Chinese elements, it's a little bit different. They still have the water, earth, um, fire, they have metal and they have wood. So those five elements. Um, does not matter which tradition you are familiar with. The thing is that there are elements in the, the, the physical universe is made up of these elements, meaning that our body is also made up of, of these elements as well. And when we want to become balanced, we have to balance all those elements as well. And so I just want to, I want to talk about the, the, the different elements in this, because um, this is really something that Sifu James talked about this past weekend. So I'm just going to use the Chinese elements to, to talk 
to, to start talking and introducing this idea. However, you can, if you're from, let's say the, the, the uh, a, a very different tradition, just follow whatever tradition resonates with you. And you can balance yourself no matter which tradition you're in. So I'm going to talk about the elements first and then talk about how to balance second. So just um, with the, the, the Chinese elements though, so fire, um, fire, wood, water, metal, and earth. So those fire, so, so those five elements. And um, let me just pull up my notes first. <laughs> So I'll be able to speak more. So, <clears throat> okay. So I would talk about fire first. Um, how do you know what elements that you have or, or what elements um, you have? It's, so if you look at the, for example, if you look at astrology, astrology, they, they have, I think there are four four elements. They there are four elements, and each of the the different um, astrological sign belongs to one of those elements, and they have you know different different ways to do that. So you, if you use your birth chart, you'll be able to find out what elements do you have in in your chart. Um, so with the Chinese, it is. Remember last year, I think it was last year, we talked about how to um, put, when you put in, it's, what, what are those things called? They are the um, finding about the, the our guardians. We have 10 guardians. So finding out our guardians and all that, it's, it's really through our birthday. So the day that we come on earth is significant in a way because it's, it's really the day that our soul picked to um, experience the energies of this earth plane. So when we start to breathe in, um, as in being born, so we, when we took our first breath, that's when we pull the energy in. So when we pull the energy in, it, so by using our birth charts, that's one way of being able to find out, you know, how, how much of your, how much fire, water, wood, metal, or earth do you have within your birth chart? And that may give you some idea of um, what energies are, are present and how they interact with each other on the day that you were born. And um, I can give you guys the, 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 the link again to, in order to put in your birthday so that you can you know, get, get all that information, but you don't really need to know that for right now. So just to, to let you know that um, the fire element is really about if the more fire you have in your your um, birth chart, then it means that you have um, you kind of person who can communicate and be able to influence other people because fire is really about being passionate and when you're passionate about something, you would be able to communicate that to in in when you communicate you be able to influence other people. So that's what fire does. So with water, so water is um, being creative in a way that you can, um, water usually is very agile and it can, it's, it usually does not stay still unless, you know, if it's frozen, then it's different, but water itself is always a, it's about um, flowing, it's about being productive. So that's what water is. And wood, wood is about expansion. So um, 
it's about re being resourceful as well. So if the, the more wood you have, it means that you, uh, like, you have that in your personality or you have that potential at the very least. Metal, metal is about um, ambition. It's really about determination. And it could be also about intelligence as well. Although um, there are other elements that has intelligence, but the, the metal is mainly about um, determination, ambition, and putting a stake in the ground. So, so that's what metal is for. And earth, earth is um, really about security, about uh, sta being stable and being nurturing. Those, so those are all the, uh, the characteristics of the earth element. So we, we usually have all five, um, in some form within our birth chart. Sometimes we may seem to be lacking one or two. Some people may not be able to, may not be very communicative. For example, I'm not a very communicative person. I'm more on the quiet side. Like I can, I can, I can think very much. I can be very creative. However, being able to um, express and influence other people through the words that I use. I need to work on that. So, and um, looking at my birth chart, <laughs> it makes total sense to me because I um, it's I don't have a lot of fire element in my in my birth chart. However, no matter what you have or what you lack in your birth chart you can always balance them. So how do we balance them? It is, um, so that's the next thing is, so let's kind of do a, a balance then, because I'm very sure that um, everyone here, there are usually some elements that you have a lot of, and there are some that you don't have as much. In order to live the life that you want, though, you may need to um, somehow get some of the other elements. So one of the ways is to actually balance it for yourself. So let's just try this. Okay, so just take in a few breaths and, um, and, and we can try to balance that. So just breathe in and breathe out a little bit. Actually, why don't I uh, 